The respiratory system is responsible for aeration and gas exchange. Aeration is the insertion of oxygen-rich air into the lungs and the expulsion of CO2-rich air from them. In gas exchange, oxygen enters the blood from the lungs, and CO2 leaves the blood and enters the lungs. Let's take a look at the different parts of the respiratory system. Its front border is the sternum, the back border is the spinal cord, the top border is the connection of the trapezius muscles to the neck, the bottom is the diaphragm, and the ribcage makes up the peripheral border. The higher airways include the mouth, nose, jaw, pharynx, throat, and larynx. The lower airways include the windpipe, main and lingular division bronchi, lungs, and the alveoli. Notice that the right lung is divided into three lobes, while the left is only divided in two. The windpipe ferries air from the mouth to the lungs. It's a tube made of ring-shaped cartilage and is coated in microscopic hairs, which keep help unwanted foreign objects out. The epiglottis, the cover of the throat, is tissue that can be found at the opening of the windpipe. It covers the windpipe while swallowing, in order to avoid the entry of foreign objects and blockage of the airway. The main bronchi are two branches of the windpipe, which branch out to the lingular division bronchi. When a person chokes on a foreign object, it will usually fall into the right bronchus as a result of the angle. The alveoli are millions of tiny, balloon-like sacs wrapped in thin capillaries, and the exchange of gases occurs in them. Oxygen enters the alveoli, CO2 exits and enters the capillaries in order to be expelled. This process is passive, that is, consciousness isn't required for it to take place. There are secondary organs that aid the process of breathing, which include the rib cage, which physically protects the thorax, heart, and lungs, and takes an active part in the breathing process using the intercostal muscles. The diaphragm is a muscle that separates the thorax and abdomen. It aids the breathing process, and damaging it could reduce the efficiency of the process. The pulmonary pleuri, a membrane which is flush against the rib cage on one side and against the lungs on the other. The pleuri constitute a kind of double-sided glue between the lungs and rib cage and are filled with pleural liquid. How does the breathing process take place? Receptors in the main arteries detect a rising level of CO2 in the blood and signal the brain. The brain neurally stimulates the intercostal muscles, which contract and lift the thorax, and the diaphragm, which contracts towards the abdomen. The muscles connected to the pleuri pull them, and they, in turn, pull the lungs outward. As a result of the change of volume in the lungs and thorax, the pressure inside the lungs is lower than outside, which causes air to rush in. Alveoli ferry the oxygen from the air into the capillaries, and the capillaries release CO2 into the air in the lungs. Afterwards, the muscles relax, the diaphragm rises and the thorax shrinks, which leads to relatively high pressure in the lungs, which causes the air to be pushed out. Exhaling is a passive process. A proper respiratory rate in adults is between 12 and 20 breaths per minute. Respiratory aid should be administered if the measured rate exceeds this range. 